Welcome to Washington, D.C. We got beautiful weather for this time of year. Uh, last year during the awards event, it, it must have been 200 degrees and humid outside. So we're doing better today. Uh, my name is Tom Brennan. I'm the chief of staff of the Office of Public Engagement and Environmental Education. And it is my great honor to welcome you here today to the 2017 Presidential Environmental Education Awards. I'd also like in advance to thank our speakers. We have Benjamin Friedman from NOAA. Judy Browse from the North American Association of Environmental Education, Kevin Butt from Toyota Motors North America, and EPA's Acting Deputy Administrator, Mike Flynn. Today's theme is partnership within the environmental education community. Good morning, everybody. My name is Shreya Ramachandran, and I'm a PEYA winner from California. I'm here because of my gray water project, an organization aimed at promoting the safe reuse of gray water and water conservation. I'm pleased to introduce Mr. Benjamin Friedman. Mr. Friedman is currently Acting Administrator for the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration. Please welcome Mr. Benjamin Friedman. Well, thank you, Shreya, for that nice welcome. We basically do most of the uh, weather, climate, and oceans work for, for the country. Uh, we're the Weather Service, and of course, everyone's heard of the National Weather Service. And every time you get a forecast, whether it's uh, on TV or in, on your iPhone or in the paper. Good morning, everybody. I'm going to wait for the slides to come up, which will be soon. It's so great to be here. And it's nice to be in DC when it's not 7,000 degrees. Um, and I'm really happy to be here. Um, it's so great to be able to be in the same room with all you amazing award winners. Good morning, my name is Megan He and I'm President's Environmental Youth Award winner from Michigan. I am pleased to introduce Kevin Butt, General Manager and Regional Environmental Sustainability Director for Toyota Motor North America. In October 2015, Toyota formulated and announced the Toyota Environmental Challenge 2050. Their goal being that Toyota's presence will have a positive impact on the environment. Their vision is to establish a future society in harmony with nature. Mr. Butt is leading that vision for Toyota's North American operations. Other positions he has held with Toyota include Chief Environmental and Safety Officer and Assistant General Manager of Body Production Engineering which includes welding, stamping, and painting operations. Mr. Butt's support for the environment goes beyond his work for Toyota. He serves on boards for the National Wildlife Habitat Council, Kentucky Fish and Wildlife Foundation, World Wildlife Fund, and Yellowstone Park Foundation. Please welcome Mr. Kevin Butt. Well, thank you for that introduction. Um, it's a pleasure to be here. Thank you, Deputy Administrator Tom, uh, for allowing me to be here in the presence of these great things. Thank you, Donna. I appreciate those kind words. And good morning. Let me just reassure you, I'm a man of few words. And for that, at this point in time, I think you'll, you'll be happy to hear that. The important thing, I think, today is the passion to do environmental work, to deal and, and care for our environment, whether you work for the federal government, the state government, local or private sector, nonprofit, a teacher, whatever you may do, it takes all of us. Uh, now I have the pleasure of calling forward the awardees who are present today to join us on this stage and accept their awards. Leele Shayla and Karen Mateo. From EPA's Region 5, we have Megan He from Michigan. Megan reports weekly environmental news on her YouTube channel, Greenversal. Her videos reach over 100 countries and have had more than 70,000 views.
So we have one last uh, special presentation of the day. Uh, Diane, uh, this is Diane Wood. She's the president of the National Environmental Education Foundation, or NEF. Diane is receiving our Theodore Roosevelt Award today for an outstanding career in environmental education. Six years of this awards program, this is only the second Theodore Roosevelt Award that we've ever given out, and Diane is most deserving. Diane's had a career of taking environmental education to untapped audiences around the world. Thank you. Thank you, Tom and team, environmental education team, for this honor and for making me look pretty good in front of my board member, Kevin. Well, thank you, Diane. And it's really been an honor to recognize Diane, uh, the students and the teachers here today. Our theme today was partnerships for environmental education and with our guest speakers from the federal government, from corporate America, and from the nonprofit sector, I think we demonstrated that kind of commitment. Uh, the best example of environmental partnerships today was you, the awardees. You are the best example of the partnerships. I congratulate you all. Uh, very inspiring work. So that ends the ceremony. You have a few hours of time to have lunch and to maybe look.